This will be a short demonstration of an integration between PlanView Enterprise One and Atlassian Jira. And one of the main purposes for an integration like this could be allowing your agile teams to utilize their preferred tools of choice like Jira for their day-to-day -day work management uh, while still yielding that executive level visibility uh, within a tool like Enterprise One um, on, at your portfolio level. So the example that we're going to see is we will start out on the Enterprise One side. We will start out by creating a couple um, epics um, within our portfolios. Uh, these epics will be meant for our Agile teams to um, execute on. And once they fit our criteria for the integration, we'll see these epics flow over to Jira. And then within JIRA, as our epics will be broken down into further stories by the individual teams, we will see those stories being filmed back over to Enterprise One. Uh, the purpose of creating this sort of a connection between the two sides will be allowing for things like status and other updates flow back uh, from JIRA into Enterprise One. Thus, at the end of the day, you can still um, do your high-level portfolio planning on the E1 side and then allow your developers just operate within their tool Jira uh, and have that seamless connection between the two sides. So let's get started. So here we can see my Taskop Integration Hub UI and we can see that I have many different integrations set up but we'll start by focusing on the connection between Enterprise One and Jira as we were talking and we'll see the connection between the two for epics and stories. So see, let's see that. So we'll start out here uh, within um, Enterprise One and what I have here is just a list of portfolios, list of uh, initiatives departments that are in my instance, in my demo instance. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a new um, uh, work level, which will be our epic level on the within my template, within my second template. So I'm going to go ahead and add it. I will for now just uh, call it demo epic for the demo today. Uh, you can fill out some of these fields. You can decide which of these pieces is important for um, your Jira side to see. But the main uh, parts are uh, just kind of some of these basic pieces of information that I'm filling out. So once I have that created, I can see my demo epic has been dropped into my portfolio here. In my particular scenario, I am not picking up all epics and sending them over to um, Jira. I am actually using this synchronized column to deem if something needs to be synchronized or not. So the moment I swap this to yes, that's when the integration will pick it up and send it over to the other side. Now from a portfolio level, I am Past this particular step, I probably won't even get into more granularity, but all I care about is that this work has been delivered to my development team. Now, if I reload my list of portfolio work, you'll see that a couple of things have already happened. You'll see that my Jira issue number and my Jira issue URL have been populated, which just gives you that cross traceability between your portfolio side and where this work item has been sent to JIRA. If I open up my uh, backlog here on the JIRA side and refresh that, you'll see that now I have a demo epic within my JIRA instance and I can now start breaking this down into stories. So I'm just going to create a couple uh, sample stories for the sake of today's demo. And similar idea here, I've essentially stated that any epic that gets broken down into stories, once those stories get created, go ahead and send those stories back over to Enterprise One for that granular visibility into what work is going to be executed. In your scenario, it might be a little more complex or detailed of when the particular item gets sent over to back to E1. But if I come back over to my um, portfolio here 
and I actually look at my um, particular work that I had sent to my Agile teams, I can see that now I have a couple things in here. So number one, I see that my stories, the stories that my Agile team um, uh, created and assigned as part of this epic have been sent over here for visibility. And I can also see some of those similar uh, bits and pieces of information uh, similar to the EPIC where I can see the JIRA issue number and URL. I can see uh, JIRA issue status, potentially priority. So it's really up to you to decide what pieces of information are being sent back to um, Enterprise One. Um, the biggest part of this particular scenario will be that ability to send status back and forth. So if I come here and open up my couple stories, in its own tabs. And let's say we're going to set one of the stories as in progress and one of the stories is done. Before I jump back over to plan view enterprise one and show the updates over there, the other thing that I wanted to point out was that on the JIRA side, you can similarly build out this traceability uh, of where items are coming from and where items are going. So you can always tell that the integration will create a reference to where the particular item has been created. This is just a capability that will be uh, possible with any of the integrations. Now, if we jump back over to the Enterprise One side, reload our page, we'll see that a couple things have happened. We'll see that our one of our stories has been set into in progress. The other one has been set to done. This is just uh, to show some of that granular level of visibility into the work that's being executed by your Agile teams. That was a short demonstration of integrating Plainview Enterprise One and Atlassian Jira. Uh, Please visit taskcom.com for more information and let us know if you'd like to see a further demo or go through an evaluation.